We're here in Helena, Arkansas, where a pilot project of KIPP charter school students are being introduced to the art of the dugout canoe. Frederick Gamble Jr. and I'm 13 years old. I attend Kilp Delta College Preparatory School and my teachers are fun, my school is fun and I like this activity and I just want to learn more about canoes. Okay, why is that? Because I just think it's fun to be in water and to be around a natural life environment. Thing. Today we're going to be artists, we're going to be mathematicians, and we're going to be uh, skilled carpenters. So the first part is the artistic process. Take a seat and um, draw a picture of the log. There's no grades on this. This is just for your own, your own uh, creative process. My name is Veronica Hoskins. I'm 11 years old. The canoe class is interesting. I really love to be here. Every single day it's like, I need to be here every day because I want to make something for my teammates that, that will appreciate and then they get to use and then just pass down the generation and generation. Okay, can you introduce yourself? My name is Brooklyn Davis. Brooklyn, wonderful Brooklyn. And how old are you? Ten. Ten years old. What do you think about this class? I like it so far. Okay, uh, what do you like about it? This will be carpet canoes. Just one in. What, what, what shape did we say this was? Now we're, now we're going to be mathematicians. This is the, the whole lot. We just, just this shape right here. This is a circle. This is a circle. It's not complete. Oval? Oval? It's an oval, right? How do we know it's an oval? Because it's not a perfect circle. My name is Jerome O'Neill. I'm in the eighth grade at Kip Delta College Preparatory School. What does this class mean to you? It means a lot to me. Okay, why is that? Because I get to make my own canoe and I get to put my own, put my life in. I learn how to use new tools. I learn how to use art for, to own wood. And I learn how to smooth that wood. Yeah. Is it going to be easy, do you think, or is it going to be a challenge? I think it's going to be a challenge. Okay, are you up for that challenge? Yes, sir. This, uh... What do we call that? The diameter. What this diameter was a little bit longer than this one. Anyone recall what the numbers were? 27 inches long and 30 inches wide. 27 and 30, and we got 27 and 29. So let's answer the question. Uh, someone who didn't measure last week, grab the tape measure or a ruler and let's measure it. John Rusky, owner of Quapaw Canoe Company. We are in downtown Helena. It takes a lot of courage. Also takes a, 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 a strong vision because you've got to be able to see something in your head before you can create it with your hands, you know. And um, so we exercise that. Everyone has that ability, and especially children. This is 26 going up and down too. 26. Keep going. Try different measurements. See if it changes. 30. Oop, we found a 30. It changes to 23 now. 28 on the widest, 26 on the shortest. And then 26 is going across. Maybe it can come a career for me one day. Carving skills, um, how to um, standards, standard stance of using the axe and everything else, like those kind of building skills. The geometry. We have pyramids, we have spheres. What other what other geometric? What is this? What is a log? A cylinder. A cylinder, right? And cylinder. I'm gonna hold it while you go down. If you're gonna measure a cylinder, what two measurements do you need? The base and the height. No. The base and the height. The base and the height. But also you need what 
we've already taken here to Diana. Is your family happy for you to be here today? Yes, yes, sir. They are happy for me because they think if I can do something, then they can do it too. And then they want me to encourage younger people and older people to do the things that I do to make the community better and make the whole school better. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Hoskins. Let's put the tool away, and we're going to talk a little bit more, and then we'll go to work. We're going to turn this log into one of these over here, right? Yes, sir. What do we call these? Each time you swing that axe or that adze, you're removing a little bit of wood, right? Yes, sir. Stay sharp. Do you know what you'd like to do later in life? Yes, sir. What's that? I'd like to become an engineer. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So uh, uh, the, the skills you're learning here will be able to help with that, you believe? Yes, sir. Okay. What do you think about Mr. Rusky? I think he's a very cool person. I used to call this the uh, King Beaver because the log looked like it was a big beaver face. But uh, as I was carving it, you can see King Beaver became something else. And uh, some people see a rhino, some people see a, a dog. I just think he's a river god of some sort. This is the water ram. A well-built canoe is like a like a a, a well uh, well-built carving tool has good sound. And the uh, ram is a cottonwood, also 17 and a half feet. And um, this is froggy. Well, our mission uh, with Quapaw Canoe Company is to share the beauty of the Mississippi River with the world. And the only way to do it to really understand the beauty of the river, especially the lower Mississippi because you can't get close to it in any other way, is to get in a, uh, a vessel you can paddle, either a canoe or a kayak. So that's the reason we don't sell them. We build them to use. The further we get away from Mother Earth, the more uh, bad decisions we make. So we're trying to uh, bring more happiness to the world with that one mission statement, just by getting people on the river in canoes and kayaks. Thank you very much. Cheers. And may the river be with you.